So continuing to field questions here for us, Samili received an Instagram DM from a student who is on his second pass of UWorld and has 2,000 questions left during his second pass. And he's three weeks out from the exam. And he wants to know, should he continue with this second pass or should he focus on the NBMEs as I've talked about in some of my prior clips? Okay, I will give you a very short and effective answer here. Before we get started, allow me to be an asshole like I usually am. Tell you to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Help grow this channel. Share with one of your friends prepping for your simile. Help bring awareness to this channel. Hit the like button. Hit the bell if you want notifications. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical. M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Link is down below. And find me on Telegram. Recently created a Telegram group and channel. The links are down below. Now let me address the fucking question, which was about should you continue with a second pass of UWorld when you are three weeks off from your exam? And the answer is a resounding hell no. And it's actually comical. It's a parody. And it's actually audacious to be focused on UWorld at this point, even if you were on your first pass of UWorld. Okay? So I'm upping the ante. Even if you were on your first pass of UWorld and you still had 2,000 questions left, and you are three weeks out from your exam and there's no changing that exam date, I would pretty much have you drop UWorld altogether. Some people immediately get emotional and have a blowback when I talk about dropping UWorld, okay? Relax. You can, if you really want, for the sake of equanimity, you can maintain a small amount of UWorld in the evenings. However, the focus now with three weeks out, yes, needs to be on the NBME exams, as I've talked about in my prior clips. Step one, you're going to be focusing on 20 through 30. You're going to memorize those questions, okay? You're going to screenshot your incorrects, put them into a Word document, save them as a PDF or PowerPoint. You're going to review those up until your exam. If you're studying for step two, you're going to memorize NBME 6 through 11, as well as the clinical mastery series forms. You need to know the NBME content, okay? I've talked about this repeatedly, but it requires inculcation because of its importance and yieldness, that when you go into the real U.S. simile, it is going to be a hypothetical NBME 3132. Okay, the questions are exactly the same. Superimposed in a UWorld interface. Okay, the exam is going to look like UWorld, but it's going to be the NBME questions. So it is audacious to be focused on UWorld leading up to your exam without adequately reviewing slash memorizing the NBME material. I'm not saying you can't maintain a flow of UWorld up until your exam. What I'm saying is that will be deleterious to your maximal score augmentation if you are not concurrently and adequately reviewing the NBME material, okay? We could make this a 47 minute clip. I'm gonna continue making more content, you know the deal. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel and I appreciate your time. That's it.